I got off the other day from work and something told me to go to Walmart. And I got in there and I found out some of the wrestling figures was on sale. So you know I had to buy that shit. What's going on, gangsters? Movie John, and welcome back to the wrestling figure update. Now, this doesn't have a whole lot in it, but it does have like two figures, and it's got something else grand at the end, so stay tuned to that. But I went to my local Walmart after work one day, had Random Ralph with me. Uh, we got off, and he had to go get some lunch baggies or something. I'm like, I'm going to stop back and look at the wrestling figures. And normally, they don't have any. For some reason, that Walmart in Bluefield, Virginia is like... Uh, it's like 10, 12 miles away. Uh, it's in the town that I work at. Well, next, you know, there's Bluefield, West Virginia, and there's Bluefield, Virginia, uh, right across the border. And for some reason, they only have like a few retro figures and maybe one or two of the uh, Mattel figures and stuff they've been put out. And I don't know why. And our local one don't even have any wrestlers right now. They have some rings and they have some belts, but that's about it. So I don't know what the hell's going on. They waiting and to the summer ends and gear up for christmas i don't know what's going on but anyway the few that they had they had on sale for seven bucks and this is the first one i picked up right here this is chris jericho got the scarf and stuff around i think it's like a scarf around his neck yeah so i'm not really the greatest on, i still hate that logo right there and i'll explain some more stuff about that later but uh, i'm not a real big fan of jericho but um this figure is pretty cool looking and it was on sale for seven bucks and usually at walmart they're like they're like 10 or 11 bucks i believe and this one i picked up from the attitude era and that's uh kurt angle so uh yeah now he's bald and everything and uh but in this series you know they had shameless they have Shawn michaels and they had uh, kurt angle and chris jericho now they had Shawn michaels there too and, you know, like I said to begin with, when I started collecting these, I want to get the ones that they didn't make back in Hasbro days, mainly around the Attitude Era, them kind of wrestlers from that time. And I might pick up a few that was made, maybe like the Macho Man or something. There's different ones of the Macho Man I might pick up that they didn't make back then. So the character I will probably get some of, but they're going to be in different outfits and all that cool stuff. So, um, yeah, the Kurt Angle and uh, Chris Jericho never made it to you know hasbro back then and the jack specific took over and you know what they did and all that cool stuff but uh anyway yeah that's the figures for this update and now i got something else bigger and better for you coming directly straight to the screen something i had to pick up and i got it really cheap on ebay but before we do that let's let these guys breathe let's get them out of the package check them out Okay, this is what I got in the mail that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. I had to wait a few days to finish the video because it wasn't here yet. But this is the WWE official retro ring. Here's the back of it. You can see a bunch of wrestlers and stuff in it. It's pretty cool. It's red and white and blue, kind of like the uh, classic uh, Hasbro ring that they used to have. And it has the steps and stuff that snap in. You have a place down here where you can put the belt and stuff and it snaps in too. You got the red, white, and blue ropes and you have that terrible logo. That's the WWE logo as like the old WWF logos, which I don't like. So it comes with that sticker to go right there. That's not going on my ring. I'm going to customize my ring. Seen some people on um, Instagram that sell uh, replacement stickers for these. And they have all kinds of different ones. They got ECW. They have um, uh, WCW. They have uh, a bunch of other different ones from the old WWF. They actually have one that says WWF. Not getting that one either, though. I'm getting a different one. I'm going to have to leave that for a surprise in another video when I do get it customized. But I do have to get some paint. And I got to get some dial for the ropes. Change the ropes and stuff. And I've seen people doing them online. They look pretty cool. I only paid... 
it said I, I won it on uh, eBay for 21 bucks, 21.50, and um, but I didn't really pay that much. Uh, I had a gift card from uh, Shopkicks was 25 dollars. I happened to change that in. I only ended up paying for shipping after shipping was all said and done. I only paid like seven bucks for this ring. So in another video, once I get this customized, I will uh, show you. I have to order the stickers from somebody on um, Instagram. I think his name is Hasbro Maniacs. I think it's called. You ought to check them out. They got all kinds of different things. They got a website and everything. And they have a bunch of other custom stuff that they make and stuff. But they do specialize in making custom stickers and stuff for this. And not only the, has it in the middle for that uh, different logo that they have. But down here they'll have stickers that goes on top of these. And there's also a monitor thing that it doesn't really show on here. You see it down here at the bottom. And there's like screens. They got little special stickers that go in there too for like the monitors for... You know where the guy's sitting there but they didn't come with chairs i don't understand that but that is the retro ring and this is the wrestling figure update hope you enjoyed it i'm not taking this out of the box yet until i get my paints and stuff and do that customize till next time gangster